Okay, so today we are going to start our rainforest came and drawing today. And we're just going to focus on this paper right here. So there's six steps to it. And we're going to draw it and then use Sharpie to outline over everything else. Okay, so you are all going to get two of these sheets per table so you can share with the person next to you. And I would start with pencil first. And I want to make sure I write my name, Mrs. K, in a one. And I'll give you a little sticker later. And then I'm going to flip this over. And step one, it says draw two eye bumps. So these are the eye bumps that look like sideways number three near the top middle of the paper. So this would be the middle, this is the top. So we're gonna draw it somewhere up right in here, okay? So I'm gonna start one line here. So bump, bump. That looks like it's about in the top middle. So it's about halfway here. And it's like the length of, a little bit longer than the length of my finger. So it kind of gives you a size reference. Number two says draw a line from the top of the mouth to the one side of the paper. Draw a curved line down from the back of the caiman. So we're going to draw a line here from this little eye all the way till we're almost touching the edge of the paper here for its really long uh, snout. And then this next line we're going to draw from the back of the eye. We're going to have a like kind of a curved line for the back of the caiman. Okay. Step three says, from the tip of the nose, that's the tip of the nose, draw a curved line back in, almost to the eye bumps. So I'm gonna draw it to about middle of this eye bump here. So I'm gonna use my finger here. I'm gonna start at the tip here and draw a curved line in and stop. Okay, not all the way there, just stop it probably about the middle here. And then four, it says draw another curved line to create an mouth opening. So I'm gonna draw the other curved line here, down and stop. Now, honestly, when I look at that, I don't think it's very big. It's not gonna allow me a lot of room for the teeth. So I could draw it a little bit bigger so I can get a couple thumb thumbs in there so I have room for the teeth. So I just made sure to do that. If you don't wanna have it that wide, that's fine. Okay, but theirs is pretty wide, I'm noticing. And then five, it says, finish the jaw and draw a line down for the side of the body. Draw a curved tummy and nostrils. So we're gonna draw the jaw line here. So this is the bottom. We're not gonna go all the way here. Okay, about, I'd say halfway. That's about halfway under. And then a curved line here for the front of the body. Then we're gonna have the belly. So we're gonna draw like a little bump up and down and then draw kind of a slightly curved line here if you can only fit two that's fine and then we're going to go all the way up here for the nostrils okay and then six it says add the arms and small marks that look like the letter v for texture so all those v marks draw the eyes and add out and sorry, and cut out ones with glue. So we're not gonna worry about cutting with glue right now, okay? So we're gonna add the arms. So I'm gonna have one arm up here, okay? And their little, let's see, they have one, two, three, four. So they are doing one, two, three, four, like zigzags. Then the other arm, I kind of follow my finger along here, go up here. Make it about the same width, it doesn't have to be exact. And one, two, three, four. And then we've got the little claws. We're gonna add these V shapes for like the texture uh, or scales like of the caiman. I'm gonna take my Vs and go the other direction here. Then I'm gonna draw the eyes. So I'm gonna draw two large circles here with some lines in there okay so after I finish my caiman I'm gonna take a sharpie and then I'm gonna trace over everything and what I love about sharpie is any kind of imperfection like that you can fix by just making sure you just kind of go over it and we're gonna be eventually erasing the pencil lines 
you're going to trace over everything, including those like V shapes with your Sharpie. Okay. And then the eyes. Let's see. Make that a little bit bigger. And I can color in this little space. This side looks a little bit smaller, so I'm going to make it just a bit bigger and color that in. I can kind of fix it. So, I've drawn a lot, but I even make mistakes at times. I'm going to color in the nostrils here. All these little details, okay? And then if you finish it, make sure you put that cap on and then you can take your eraser and erase anything extra. So obviously, I'm not finished with mine, but I still have to outline the arms and the Vs and then the belly. But hopefully today you finish your drawing and you at least start the outlining. And if you're finished with it, use the eraser.